Good morning guys, how are you going? It's me, Ruby, as always. Um, again, I haven't filmed a video in a while, so I'm back. But if you haven't seen me before, I'm Ruby, as you can see by the title. My job is OnlyFans. This is my dog. Well, I also do make some money off YouTube and a few other ways, but my main income comes from OnlyFans. Just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys a day in the life of me and what I actually do for work and just my general day to day. I've just woken up, it's about 6.30. I've been getting up at six lately, which has been really good. Having my coffee and then I will take Pico for a walk. Pico, are you gonna say hi to the friends? It's been very cute. Um, I'll take Pico for a walk and then I will take you through what I would do on pretty much a regular day to day. No day is the same as the next, obviously, but I will pretty much just show you what I get up to. Um, if you don't know, somehow <laughs> have been living under a rock. Um, OnlyFans is a website where you can sell anything from your music to porn. I do somewhere in between, which is topless nude photos and videos. I will of course put my link in the description if you do want to subscribe. I would love that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what I actually get up to, what my day is like, see if it's what you guys were thinking. I'm also going to be answering a few questions towards the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy and we'll speak soon. <laughs> so we are back from our walk and the next thing I would normally do in the morning is the messages. So I go onto OnlyFans and I will see how many messages I have, respond to everybody and make sure I always chat with everyone. Unless you're rude, of course, then I don't respond. Um, you can see behind me sort of the board of like everything that I need to do, any ideas that I have of content customs that I need to make for people and things like that. I obviously can't show you up close, but that's pretty much what that is. Um, so yes, now I will do my messages. As you can see, this is my page. There's not too much I can show you here, but here's a photo of me on a hill. A lot of the stuff is wearing less clothes than this. And yes, what else can I show you? Here I have 44 new messages, so I'm just going to respond to them. So I just show you guys a little bit of my welcome video that I put on my page that you get to see as soon as you subscribe. Thank you so much for <laughs> subscribing to my OnlyFans. I'm so excited to have you here. There are these rare times which happen less and less the longer that I have done this job for, but there are rare days where things just get to me and today just happens to be one when I read some horrible things that are said about me on the internet and no matter how much everyone says fuck the haters don't listen to them they're just a sad person behind the computer i know some days it just gets to you more than others and some days i sit there crying other days i just feel sad that this is the way of the world and that people feel the need to say such horrible things about someone they've never met you know especially when they choose to lie about me that really sucks because there's just nothing you can do apart from sit there and look at it. People are going to believe what they want to believe. When someone says that they met me at a box party or something when I used to waitress and that I did certain things that I didn't do. It just makes me a bit mad at the world and mad that so many girls have to experience this. Like, I have a pretty thick skin after doing this for so long and I've read unbelievably disgusting things about myself so often. Um, but yeah, think twice before you say something horrible about someone you've never met, particularly when you're going to lie about them. There's a real person on the end. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Just trying to live my life. So keep that in mind. Hey. Hi. How are you? Ooh. I my leaking water bottle yet again. Of course. Ooh. We are, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly kill me. We are going to spin. This is Emma, if you didn't know. Hi. 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 Finished spin, now we're in a better mood while I am. We just had a juice while I had a smoothie. I'm shaking. She's shaking. My shoulder hurts. It's all good. So we're gonna go and get these new. <laughs> what do you tell them? These new um, underwear oh. that Bonds <laughs> have released. We shouldn't be laughing, it's not a funny subject. Women menstruate monthly. 
Yeah, so we were just thinking that we want, we we're sick of using tampons. So because we're gonna try this period undies. Cool. So basically you just bleed into your underwear. It's great, apparently. Is that just what it is? And you yeah, them. they have like, they have like, um, like, what's it called? So it doesn't smell like a <laughs> deodorizer in them. Oh. And yeah, you just, yeah. Well, we're gonna see, we'll bring you to the shop. Yeah, we'll show you. <laughs> what are you getting? Can I please get um, one of the Katsu Evo rolls? Yeah. And one of the um, salmon rubber balls? No, I'm not a salmon rubber. No, thanks. <laughs> She's found the period underwear. Look. Wow. This is what it is. Cool. Should I buy some? Should I buy some new underwear? What should I buy? I want to buy something comfy. I think I would be a twelve. Well, I would usually be a twelve, but I want to. I think at fourteen. I think they're gonna be really good. I'm excited to try them. Yes. We'll let you guys know how our period underwear goes. My socks on. Because we don't want to have to. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, they love that. Oh yeah, guys. Hi, Richard and Andrew. Emma's feet. I love my socks. I took my socks off. <laughs> Um, okay, I am a bit embarrassed to be doing this now. Okay, say bye. I can't do it. <laughs> so, we are just filming a custom video and my friend Emma is helping me. Because <laughs> the customer wants um, me to be tied in shibari. So, I can't really show you too much. But that's the beginning of the crotch <laughs> rope. And now what are we doing next? The arms. The arms and then the knees. Okay, so unfortunately I can't show you the final look, but maybe we'll take some photos to put on OnlyFans if you do want to subscribe. Um, anyway, finished our rope tying. Pico was just chilling while we did it, and Harry made an appearance in the background, didn't you? <laughs> and this is my new thing I bought from Bonds. Hey guys, so I just thought I would sit down before I get ready. I'm going to my friend's birthday drinks. I thought I'd sit down and ask a few, um, I mean answer a few questions because I asked on my Instagram to tell me, I, I wrote on my Instagram to ask me any questions you have to do with OnlyFans and I will answer them and of course there's a lot of things just asking about my butthole and if I'm a virgin, which I'm not going to answer, but I will answer the sensible one. So someone said, is OnlyFans the end goal of your career and where do you think it can take you if not? It's not my end goal of my career, no, because that would be quite short-sighted, I think. Um, I don't really have an end goal with my career. I just know at the moment what I'm doing. I enjoy it, it gives me freedom and it gives me a good income. So I'm just gonna keep doing this while I can and bring other income sources in there on the side, like for example, YouTube, which is one of the things that I do on the side of this and just see how we go. I'm not stressed about the future. I'm just enjoying myself and doing what I can for now and hoping and knowing that in the future I'm sure I'll have other opportunities. So that is the answer to that question. Someone asked me, is it hard to make each video? I wouldn't say it's hard and that's mostly because I've been doing this for a long time. I know the things that do well, the things people want to see, the things I'm good at, the things that take the least time. There are some videos which are a lot more time consuming um, to make and need more preparation. Or for example, I do some baking videos, so I need to film throughout the entire thing and edit it together. But that's fine because I've done heaps of editing from YouTube and everything anyway. Um, so yeah, it's not actually, it's not that hard because I've done it for a long time. When people say this is an easy job, there's so many reasons I could go over why it's not easy, um, but I am very grateful to do it at the same time. How does OnlyFans affect your mental health? Well, you guys have already seen this morning me getting down about the awful comments that I sometimes see written about me online. So it can definitely, <clears throat> not OnlyFans directly, but this whole job and being this online personality can definitely affect my mental health in a negative way, mainly because I see such awful things written about me and it's impossible not to let it affect you sometimes and you just don't know why people are being so cruel about someone who they don't know and they think that we won't see it, but we do. So, yes, 
just be kind. Um, but it can, it's also helped me in a very positive way, I would say, because I've met a lot of people because of my job that I wouldn't have otherwise met. And a lot of, I've seen a lot and spoke to a lot of people who have helped me with my mental health by sort of seeing that I'm not alone and knowing that a lot of people do appreciate me and, you know, things like that. Someone said, is it $7.50 a month? Yes, if you've never subscribed before, it is $7.50 a month. If you have subscribed before, your next month will be $14.99, I think. I used to price it at $17.99 or $17, I think it was, um, but I decided to drop the price to make it more accessible to more people. So there's a lot of questions asking me what I specifically do, how naughty it gets, and whether I do post sexual things on there. Sorry, Pico's lying on the floor. Um, I don't do sex on there, I don't do masturbation, I don't do open leg. That is never something I've said I've done from the beginning, however I do full nude videos, I have strip videos, oil videos, shower videos, public flashing videos, a video with me sucking a cucumber, bikini try on videos, behind the scenes YouTube videos, um, waking up video, role play kind of videos. There's a lot on that, so um, you do have to pay extra for a lot of my videos to see the full thing, but I do also have a lot of uncensored and implied content on my wall. And the main thing with my own fans is that you can chat to me every single day, um, and you also get to request custom content if you would like to pay for that. And I also go live. Usually I go live weekly, and I almost always get fully nude in that, and you technically don't have to pay anything to join. Um, I do require tips to get to the nude point, but you don't have to tip. I appreciate the tips, but you don't have to. <laughs> so there's also a lot of people saying to me that, is it true that I keep a lot of stuff behind a second paywall? Like I just said, it is true that I charge extra for a lot of full nude videos because I believe they are worth more than $7.50 to see absolutely everything. That's just me personally. A lot of people will always say to me, why would I subscribe when porn is free? And my answer to that is, well, don't subscribe. Go watch your porn. People subscribe to talk to me, to see me personally, and this is how I do it. If you don't want to pay for it, don't pay for it. But I am telling you, if you subscribe, you will see me naked for the price of $7.50. You don't have to pay extra to see nude photos of me. There was plenty of nude stuff on my page. You just have to scroll through. Some of it is in bikinis, lingerie, and I post every single day. So there's plenty of content out there, I promise. <laughs> Someone asked me, how is the relation with your parents going? Is it difficult or do they understand what you do? No, it's not difficult. I have been in this industry for... Five years now I started lingerie waitressing when I was 19 and I told my parents that back then and I have slowly progressed to the point of doing OnlyFans and my parents are very supportive they know that I'm happy and safe and enjoy my life and earn enough money to live and that's what matters to them I'm very lucky to have such supportive parents the one that I will end on is not a nice question it's not even a question actually um, I just wanna, I don't know if this will help anybody, but if I can just tell you the type of questions I get every time I do a Q&A, um, maybe it will help you say something nicer next time because it's just not nice. This person said, I can't wait to join the Illuminati so I can rape, fuck, and suck on your Australian kangaroo titties all night. Yeah, it's just vile. I don't know why there's some people out there like this, but there are. I'm gonna go get ready. <sighs> She's an outfit that I'm going out in. The theme tonight is naughty or nice. So that's quite good for me. Obviously I'm going naughty. I've probably got the most sexy, slutty outfits of any of my friends. So I better make this a good outfit. And of course I will show you before I go. So as promised, I just needed to show you guys my outfit. I am gonna wear shoes. Obviously I'm wearing my stripper heels. I was never actually a stripper, I was a topless waitress because I was too scared to dance and be a stripper. But yeah, I've got this on from Honey Birdette. Some random, um, what do you call these, stockings on. And then I've got my blazers and I've got my hair extension in. That is the outfit. Um, I did my makeup for the first time in probably a week or over a week to do proper makeup. So yeah, that's what's going on. Pico is just chilling. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, some of you probably are. I haven't been drinking for the last month, which is very exciting. And I've bought this 
which is a pretend gin, Liars Dry London Spirits. And they do, apparently there's I think 13 different ones they do. And yeah, this one is the fake kind of gin. Still expensive, that I think was $44, which is not too far off the price of gin. Um, I bought this one for my friend because she is drinking, I assume, this is raspberry real gin. But yeah, I'm having this with my little tonic waters. So I've just got to pack those. And then it just looks like I'm drinking and I don't get asked a million questions. So works out well. I'm ready to go. Do you want to be in it? <laughs> Who's this? Lara Croft. Hey. Who I've never heard of. But actually I've heard of her, but I didn't know what she was from. Anyway. See you later. Hey guys, I'm back from my friend's birthday. It was really fun and such a good time. Um, it's actually only 9.30. The party's definitely still gonna go on for a while, but time for me to come home and make a tea. Sorry, that kettle's probably really loud. Um, I'll probably continue this vlog tomorrow because I might have a few more things to show you guys um, what I get up to, but yes. I'm wearing my little new set again. Um, I'm comfy at home, love going to bed early at the moment, I'm just obsessed with it, so. Hey guys, so it's now the next day, I'm just about to go live on my OnlyFans, so that's why I'm wearing, that's why I'm wearing a micro bikini and my little outfit here. Um, I'm just making a tea, I always need a tea when I go live because I always seem to get tired, but they're so much fun. Um, I'm running slightly late because I just had to prepare dinner. I have made, wait, I'll turn around. I've made an apple crumble, which is yet to go in the oven. Preparing some stuffed mushrooms and some roasted veg, which is all very exciting, isn't it, Peeps? Um, so I'm about to go live. I will film a bit for you guys while I'm live as well. And yeah. I am currently live, say hi guys. Well, they can't speak, I can't hear them, but they are on the computer chatting with me. Shout out to Julio who said hello. Porsky said hey Todd. Porsky likes to say hi to everyone else within the, else within the chat. And um, yes, Todd, hi. So yeah, we just we chat, we strip. Pico, she always interrupts my lives. Honestly, um, we chat, we get naked, and it's a lot of fun. We normally talk shit about a lot of things. Pico loves to be involved. Anyway, we also play Ruby Live Bingo and see all the things that I do every single time it's quite fun anyway i hope to see you there if you join next time hey guys as usual i forgot to film an outro but this is me ending the video i hope you have enjoyed if you liked it make sure you hit subscribe i really appreciate it also like this video and comment what you liked most if you liked hearing about what i get up to in a day i think next i'm gonna fi film a everything i eat in a week and everything i eat in a week video so let me know if you'd like to see that or if you just think that'll be super boring but i think that'll be really fun um so yeah thanks for watching make sure you go follow all my links if you want they'll be in the description but you know you know how it is all right speak next time <laughs> i never know how to end these bye